सुप्त वज्रासना फर्स्ट सिट ऑन द मैट कंफर्टेबली स्लोली टेक ए डीप ब्रेथ टू टाइम्स नेक्स्ट गो टू वज्रासना एक्सेल स्लोली बेंड बैक प्लेसिंग राइट फोर आर्म एल्बो ऑन द ग्राउंड then the left forearm elbow on the ground place the head on the ground bring the hands on the side of the legs if this is not possible stretch your hands back above the head or keep your hands in the namaste pose over the chest Now gently close your eyes relax your body breathe deeply and slowly in the final position for 10 to 30 seconds precautions those who are suffering from neck and knee problems slip disc should not do this asana benefits improve digestion for back pain diabetes for menstrual disorder improves flexibility of the spine strengthens the thigh once you done inhale and take support of the elbows and the arms and raise the head above the ground remember to never leave final position by stretching the leg first it's going to harm your knees Finally, once you're done, relax your body in session kasana for few minutes. Now, if you're not able to do the normal supta vajrasana, you can practice this variation. So, again, first sitting vajrasana pose. Place the palm on the floor beside the hip. fingers pointing towards the front exhale slowly bend back place the right forearm and then the elbow on the ground then the left forearm and then the elbow on the ground now place the top of the head on the ground while arching the back Keep your hands on your thighs. Try to keep the lower legs contact with the floor. If it is necessary, you can separate the knees. Close your eyes and relax the body. Breathe deeply and slowly in the final position for 10 to 30 seconds. Now, breathe in. I'm taking support of elbows and arms raise the head above the ground Once you're done relax your body in session kasana for a few minutes Thank you for watching